New at five, this blistering 200 page report detailing serious concerns about sexual harassment in Springfield. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is taking a close look at what was found during a year long investigation by a former federal prosecutor. In May of 2018, State Rep Kelly Cassidy said Mike Madigan and his allies tried to intimidate and retaliate against her for speaking out about sexual harassment victims. Later that month, lobbyist Marianne Loncar said former state rep and Madigan associate Lou Lang made unwanted sexual advances and bullied her. In the following June, longtime Madigan aide Sherry Garrett said Madigan's then chief of staff, Tim Mapes, repeatedly made inappropriate comments. I have always loved my job, but it is hard to love it. It's hard to love it when you don't know what's going to happen next. In her report, attorney Maggie Hickey says she did not find strong enough evidence to prove or refute Cassidy and Loncar's claims. The report did find that Mapes, quote, unequivocally violated the speaker's policies when he dismissed and mocked Miss Garrett for coming forward with her serious concerns about potential sexual harassment. Mapes wound up resigning just hours after Garrett's news conference last summer. The report said people believed that Mr. Mapes attempted to motivate workers through fear and that a few other supervisors throughout the years emulated this practice. It also states people from across the Capitol workplace reported that they had witnessed or personally experienced what they described as inappropriate sexual conduct. Madigan today says he should have done more to prevent issues in his office. The report says Madigan's office has already taken several steps in the right direction, including anti-harassment training in 2018 and 2019. And Tim, Tim Mapes just sent us a statement saying in part, if my demeanor or my approach to my job did not instill trust and a healthy work environment, I apologize. This report was requested by Madigan. It's being paid for with public dollars. To date, Hickey's law firm has billed the state more than $640,000. In the newsroom, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.